Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sinead Chantel, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is gonna be a story time on my Bad Girls Cub inspired fight in the sixth grade. So, first of all, fighting is so ghetto, y'all. Don't do it. That is so ghetto. Don't do that. Don't do that. But at this time, I was like, I was a huge Bad Girls Club fan. Like, me and my cousins used to play Bad Girls Club in the house. We used to play Bad Girls Club in the house. And, like, you know, we used to be beating on each other in the house. So I always wanted to get into, like, you know, those arguments and the, the tension rises and you start to fight. Like, I feel like I have to tell y'all this because that's the only way the story's going to make sense. Because y'all going to be like, what's wrong with you? Like, how did the story even get here? In hindsight, it was so stupid. But anyway, so this story took place when I was in sixth grade. Everybody that went to middle school with me, y'all y'all already know this story. I just wanted to be, you know, in, in one of them scenes where, like, we going back and forth and then boom, 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 fighting. And I guess I was looking for that today. I don't really know. My brother... Is like really artistic so at this time he taught me how to make um paper guns so for recess my friends and i we were like running around stupid with paper guns playing so we finished recess we played the entire recess with them guns why as soon as we want to go upstairs one of my friends get caught with it so now we all gotta go to the principal i mean the dean right we all had to go to the dean and then they let us go because it was paper and then, you know, now I sit down in class and I'm kind of irritated because it was paper. Like, you know, I'm kind of stubborn. I'm like, yo, like, what? Like, sit down now. And at that time, my hair was permed. So I had my hair in a ponytail. And because I was running around, my hair was, like, coming out in the back looking crazy. And so this girl, I sat next to her and she was like, she's like, your hair looks crazy. Let me fix it for you. So I'm like, you're in my business. Yeah, don't do that. I don't need you to fix my hair. Bare attitude, bro. So I'm like, I don't need you to fix my hair. She like, like, um, you don't have to get an attitude with me. So now we, now we both got attitudes because she trying to help me and I'm not trying to get help. I can fix my hair myself. But she really didn't even let me sit down in class. She didn't let me settle. Like, I just got in trouble. Why are you even talking to me? You're supposed to be listening to what's going on. So anyways, she like, you don't need to get an attitude. So I'm like, I'll do whatever I want. Da -da 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 -da, right? Mind you, we're sitting in the front row of the class. Like, we're sitting in front of the teacher. And so, like, at this point, at this point, I'm starting to, like, you know, regret it. Because I was, I was respectful, you know? So I'm starting to regret it. I'm like, dang. Maybe I could have just let this argument slide. But it's too late. Like, now we got the class attention. Now we arguing, we arguing, and, like, we starting to get louder. Like, but at this point, I don't even know what we, like, what words we're saying back and forth. Because there was really nothing to argue about. And so I stood up first. Y'all, I was, like, 4'11 in the sixth grade. I was, like, 4'11, about 95 pounds. And this girl had to be, like five five about like she was significantly bigger than me i stood up first and then she stands up so now she's towering over me and so you know bad girls club starts to kick in i'm like nah stand on the chair like you can't let her just be stunning you like this stand on the chair so now i stand on the chair and i'm yelling at her whatever and we arguing back and forth now the class is hype because i just stood on the chair like now the tension is rising. They want to see if we're going to fight. The teacher is still standing there because I guess it's a thing like they're not supposed to break up fights. So um, he was just standing there still trying to teach to the people that were willing to listen. But everybody was watching the fight. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, eventually we're going to stop arguing because I really did not want to fight her, y'all. Like she was so big and I just really didn't think I could do it. I just really didn't think I could do it. So I'm standing on top of the chair still arguing with her and this boy... He takes my hand and slaps her across the face. So now I'm looking at the boy like, why would you do that? Right? And like, while I'm looking at him, like, why would you do that? She takes me and swings me off the chair. Like, like, mm, like I'm talking like, bro, it all came crashing down. And I'm like, oh, nah. You gonna smack me? In front of my I'm like, I can't let this girl beat me up right here, right now in front of all my friends. And if anybody knew me when I was going to school, I was cool with everybody. You can't beat me up in front of my friends right now. So now I'm fighting for dear life. Like, I swung her over. Like, now, now, I don't know. Like, it's like the adrenaline start pumping. I can't get embarrassed. <laughs> so now we're fighting, we're fighting. We ended up, we end up standing up. The assistant principal comes in. Here's another Bad Girls Club scene. 
the assistant principal comes in she trying to break it up and I would not let go I literally refused to let go of this girl so I'm reaching over the assistant principal and I'm like bing 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 like in her head like mind you like at this point the fight is supposed to be over like administration is here let it go what are you even doing but again bad girls club you know when they be trying to jump over the security like like i'm putting on a show the whole fight happened because i was putting on a show anyways now so i'm beating her up in her head da -da -da -da, whatever fight is over now i go now the principal walks in and she's like shauna i'm disappointed now i start crying because i was like a teacher's pet i was going through the motions this day like it was just I was hot and I was low and I was mad and I was sad like I was crying and she like oh don't cry now da -da -da. I'm like she started it blah, blah 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 we get upstairs and I had to go with the music teacher the music teacher was also the Dean but I was super cool with the music teacher he was like so disappointed in me but now I'm starting to feel regret I'm like okay maybe the show wasn't worth it like even though I didn't really intend, it was just like I had to do it in that moment because it was too late to back out. We get to the part where we get a pre-suspension, now we gotta call our parents. So I didn't wanna call my mom because I knew that my mom was gonna be upset at the fact that I'm like, why are you even fighting, right? So my mom, I'm like, nah, like I can't call my mom. Feel me? So let me call my Auntie Shernet. I call my Auntie Shernet now. The dean spoke to her first, right? She like, um, hello. Calling from the, the, the academy and um, I'm with your, your niece and she just got into an altercation. So Auntie Shona is like, Altercation? Why me and stop? Mind you, the phone is on speaker, so now I'm sitting here like, now she got to explain to her what I did. Like, now she has to tell her word for word everything I did. I have to hear it all over again. So, anyway, she gets me, gets me the phone to talk to her. I'm like, Auntie Shona, can you just come to the school? Don't tell my mom. And she said like, no, me have to tell your mother. She's like, yeah, me have to tell your mother. Me can't, me can't keep this for now. She not have to quote the field. I'm like, okay, fine. So I just like, okay, told my mom now. Now my mom is heated. Like I come home, she like, she was upset at the fact that that's what my administration had to call her for. Like I just, you know, I was just not that type of kid. Like yes, I would fight. Don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't fight in a classroom. I wouldn't fight in front of a teacher. And then I wouldn't keep going after whoever came to break the fight up broke it up like i don't know what got in i'm telling you y'all fast forward my mom comes to the pre-suspension meeting with miss johnson oh my god it couldn't have been nobody else it had to be miss johnson like if you went to school with me you already know what i'm saying like it had to be i could have like anybody else would have tried to finesse it for me miss johnson was just she was letting me have it. So at this time, I explained the fight to my mom, but I didn't explain to her that I escalated it. And I definitely didn't tell her that I stood on top of the chair to fight the girl. Like, I didn't tell her none of that. I just basically told her that the girl was picking on me, saying my hair looked ugly, and I was just reacting, lying, just lying for no reason. <laughs> so, all right, boom now. Miss Johnson is sitting in the office, and she's talking to my mom. Now she sits us at the table, and she's like, okay, um, read your statement because I wrote a statement read your statement I read my statement or whatever and Miss Johnson she just kept reiterating the fact that I stood on top of the chair mind you my mom doesn't know this at this time and Miss Johnson hasn't said it yet but like leading up to the suspension meeting leading up to everything she just kept exaggerating like every every teacher that liked me that she spoke to she kept telling them like did you know she stood on the chair I was hoping she didn't tell my mom but I already knew it was gonna come we sit in there and I'm going over my 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 incident report with my mom. Well, Ms. Johnson is like, okay, well, what did you learn from the situation? And I was like, okay, well, maybe I could have walked away. Maybe I didn't have to respond to her, you know? And she's like, okay. But what did you think standing on the chair did? Did it escalate or de-escalate the situation? So my mom turned to me and she like, wait, what she say? And I'm like, oh my God. Because my mom was on my side, y'all. My mom was like, don't she have to defend herself? Like, if anything happened, she have to defend herself, blah, blah, blah. My mom, I had my, I had it. Like, I had it, and then it just went, that's, you didn't have to do that. Like, but anyway, so boom. She's talking to my mom, and she's like, Did you, do you think that de-escalated or de-escalated the situation? And now I'm like, I feel like it escalated it. You know, trying to like, <laughs> and my mom is like speak up and I'm like I feel like I'm gonna... yeah so now my mom is like my mom is in shock that I stood on top of the chair um I ended up not getting suspended because it was like my first time ever getting in trouble in that school and 
my last time, honestly, because I, I was never a, really a, a problem child. Yeah, that was my first and last time getting in trouble. This was the time I got into a fight, and I feel like I blame Bad Girls Club. I also blame the boy that took my hand and slapped her because then, you know, and I also blame her because I know you saw him take his hand and slap me, like, take my hand and slap you. Why would you swing me off the chair? You so that was my quick story time on the time that I got into a Bad Girls Club inspired fight in the sixth grade. And, um, yeah, so if you learned anything from my story, make sure you like, comment, share this video with your friends, subscribe with the post notification bell so you don't miss when I post. And I'll see y'all in the next video. In my religion, uh, God the only one I need forgiving, uh, but God willing I'll be winning, so this all on pieces.